actually change quite a bit when I press go if it works. Um, but I, I'll ask you to do two things. One is watch the video when it's playing. Also look above the video and notice that there are things going on above the video as well. So let's see if this is going to work. Right up here. So what he's done, and I think it's going to play. So this is entirely in the browser doing movement tracking with live video. Um, basically these lines up here, this little canvas, basically showing you where things are moving horizontally and vertically, uh, all this on there. And you can see there's a little SVG based filter up there basically showing where things have changed in between individual frames. So this actually does all of its processing on worker threads. This is an impossible thing to do without threads. It is unbelievably unresponsive. Um, but it's a fantastic demo of the kinds of things we're able to do in the browser these days. That basically, when you add all these capabilities that have been available on native platforms for a long time, you can start to really open up uh, what people can do creatively uh, in the browser itself. So this is pretty an interesting example uh, uh, of all these things sort of put together and sort of a vision of how things change. Um, so when you use those extensions, do you lose compatibility with other browsers? Or? Yep. I mean, so... <laughs> 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 you should bring that up.